Section Conclusion Hello, I hope you've enjoyed the content so far. In this section, we've learned a lot of concepts that aim to create a solid foundation on top of which you can build something great. You now should know where to focus your attention when working in Photoshop, what's in the Layers panel, and you might have even picked up some of the hotkeys I mentioned so far. Plus, we got into many common misconceptions that should have warned you about the dangers of forming bad habits and working ineffectively. As we progress, we'll get more hands-on, and we'll get involved in all sorts of great exercises. Throughout this course, I will show you many scenarios through which you can better understand all the topics we touched upon in the previous videos. That means you don't have to worry about remembering everything until this point. Photoshop is a vast program, so it can feel overwhelming. But by sticking with the course until the end, and by working along, I guarantee you'll be flying. Remember that if you feel disoriented by my pace, you can always adjust the video speed to slow things down. You can re-watch videos, ask me questions in the comments area, contact me through my blog or social media, and I'll be happy to help. If that doesn't clear things up, maybe you should consider my other course, Photoshop for Beginners, which covers things more slowly. Finally, remember the best of this course is in the real-world freelancing projects that come up later down the road but we can't jump straight into them without knowing the program. So with that being said, let's carry on with our Photoshop journey.